Hi there, it's me, Jordan Van Haslow. Welcome to Jordan Van Haslow and Friends live on Hot 702.5 FM Las Vegas. Let's get on with the show. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Showtime with Jordan Van Haslow and Friends right here on Hot 702.5. FM Las Vegas. I am so excited today. Let me tell you, this I think is the first time that I've been recording actually here at the station since before COVID maybe? Mm. Since before COVID, you know, and COVID kind of shut everything down and we started working remotely and then I, I was all over the place. I was in Palm Springs, I was in Los Angeles, I was in New York. And it's so excited to be back here in the station. I'm looking directly across to our fearless leader, the founder and owner, fine ass e Carice. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a really, really great friend, and I haven't seen her in so long. And in fact, you guys will remember her because she was actually one of the first guests on this show back in 2020 when we launched. Mm -hmm. And she's been doing so many wonderful things. And this is the first time I think that she and I have been in the same room together in quite a few years. It's so odd to remember how many years because, you know, I feel like COVID and that whole shutdown moment, it's like this lost mm -hmm. period of time. Mm -hmm. It could have been two years. It could have been two decades. And it's just all crazy. But she, I think I said it before the last time I saw her, this woman is amazing. In fact, she's the only person that I know in Las Vegas where if I mention her name, Anywhere, downtown, uptown, <laughs> north, south, east, west, they say, oh, my God, she's so wonderful. I love her. She's a jazz singer. She sings all around town. And now, and I can't wait to like learn about all of this, she finds herself since, I believe, October as the creative director for the modern showrooms at Alexis Park Resorts. And I can't wait to learn all about it. So without further ado, please welcome my dear friend, Lisa Gay. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> good, beautiful morning. I am just elated to be here with you and seeing you and, ooh, and getting that good hug. I'm telling you, I'm awake now. <laughs> I have that effect on people. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. So how the hell you doing? I'm doing great. Busy. Yeah. So, so, so happy to be busy and so uh, elated that uh, the Playhouse yes. piece of uh, Modern Showrooms uh, is starting to, to take off and launch and kind of get on its own track and everything else like that so we're just kind of still feeling it out and all the rest of that good stuff so let's let's mm -hmm. go back a little bit because mm -hmm. i know that you have a very long history with alexis park mm -hmm. right going back you and your husband used right. to play there for right. a long you guys you had a residency there right. for like had a residence. for a long time right it's like three years yeah three and a half years mm -hmm. oh wow mm -hmm. oh wow when tony and i came here in uh, 2010 uh -huh. and uh of course we already obviously knew people here but it was like Mm, let's kind of just move around and see what's going on. So we just talked to some of our friends, and they said, go here, go th go here, go there, go, you know, all these other places to meet these different people. Uh -huh. But the bottom line was we always were the independent kids, okay, coming from the, uh, as they say, the old school, as we say, the real school of music, <laughs> um, from back from Las old Las Vegas and, our old, and, you know, in walking into the new. And I said, you know, why don't we just go around and just talk to folks and see what they need? What mm -hmm. is needed in Las Vegas, right? Yeah. Because, of course, after the corporate thing and all the rest of that and things had changed in the 90s, right? So in the 2000s, it was going to be a whole other different feel. So, uh, and we did, and we met uh, James Junkins, J.J., over at uh, Lexus Park, who at that time was the operation manager later, later on. He was the um, hotel, uh, ran the hotel as well. And uh, we had released our CD, Watch What Happens. Watch and he what listened, happens. happens. And, he, <laughs> and he, in turn, listened to the CD and he said, when can you start? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's the thing. When can you, let's do this. That's my kind of a job offer. We, when can you start? Let's do it, you know. And so we were elated with it and, and started. It took us like about probably five months before everything started catching on because of this park. It had its own history, so to speak. And, uh, and so Tony and I built it, and it carried on and on and on. And we ended up having a, um, if you will, a... Uh, 
uh, a musician's night on Thursday nights. In fact, Dave Perico, okay. our, our dear Raiders leader you know, <laughs> of the band, everything else, and, and Dave Perico Orchestra, of course, was one of our guests. He was one of our first guests, Mark Cargill, who, of course, is now uh, Lady, has been Lady Gaga's concert master for the last, what, four turns? She's been three or four turns she's been here. Uh-huh. And uh, then we had Latin night on Saturday nights that w- that turned into a huge uh, thing as well. So, you know, we made our run, and it was great. Yay. And it's okay, so so this is called Modern Showroom. So did they rebrand the showrooms? Because it, how many, cause how yes. many are there? Cause two. I've, I've been, so there are two. There's two, because actually there are like, like seven ballrooms, actually. Oh, Pegasus, okay. You know, and so the Pegasus was the room that we had originally. Okay. And that's the room you walked me because I've only been there once, and you want when you were walking right. me through it. Right, exactly. And so uh, Pete Housley, who is uh, 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 an entrepreneur and 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 uh, visionary, uh-huh. to say the least, who has also been experienced here with so many of the showrooms and other things too, um, came in and just flipped them. The Athena ballroom turned into the Athena showroom. Got it. And so the 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 uh, shows that are happening in there now, for example, at six o'clock is like, for example, all shook up with the uh, Elvis. That's the Elvis tribute, uh-huh. which is huge. Eight o'clock, it's Motown. That's Tanja F- uh, Foster and all the duchesses. And uh, then over in the uh, Pegasus now, we have uh, Frankly Frank, which uh-huh. is uh, dedicated, of course, to Frank Sinatra so and like Neil Diamond. So there's totally, a whole bunch this of is stuff. Like, this is like old Las Vegas. So Revisit Las- it, truly. Oh, exactly. That's exactly. so exciting. And it makes it so much fun because they we're actually, you know, not only the tourists that come through, right, but the locals that are coming through as well. So you get to see people, I, people I haven't seen in a long time, and I love it, too, because there's still people who work at Alexis Park who's been there like 30 years oh, wow. remember me and Tony right yeah so going in there it's so bright and everybody is just uh, so wonderfully positive including the staff that uh, Pete has uh, pulled together and engineers and sound engineers and everything so it's a uh, it's a it's a great learning experience yeah. too right and uh, but it, uh, it it to be able to step up and say not only that I'd like a little thing that kind of brings the club world back, right? Uh-huh. You know, and so forth and so on, and and just combine all that. We just had Chris Claremont mm-hmm. here who did the uh, BB and Me BB King show. He just did that, which was really really cool. And yeah. Baca and just you know really really How cool stuff. Baca? How Baca? How so doing great. Her show was fantastic. That's too. Oh, amazing. Listen. You out uh, there in Radio Land, you probably remember Habaka. Back in the first season of our show, Habaka came on. She's That's right. she's. She's a, she's hilarious. Oh, she's, she's wonderful. Well, she, oh, she's her, great. her honeybees. <laughs> <laughs> and her honeybees came out in rows for her show. Oh, that's fabulous. Big time, yeah, big time. So she's she's doing great and everything. And so we're, um, um, you know, everybody's looking to pull all that together so that we can just expand out. So back to you. Okay, mm-hmm. so you have this long running relationship with Alexis Park, mm-hmm. and um, you've since played in other places. Like I think when you and I first met, you. Had a regular gig over at the dispensary, which I'll be back there on December the fourteenth. And yes. our Christmas show at Alexis Park at the Pegasus is the thirteenth. Wow! Yeah, we got a, a big Christmas show going on. That's wonderful. That I'm I'm overseeing and still writing. So with Glee. so, how did you come back to Alexis Park and, and, and explain? So. So, um, just to give some clarity, so mm-hmm. the, the, it, there's the two showrooms, and they call mm-hmm. them the modern showrooms, modern showrooms. At, at at Alexis Park. And now you are curating a series called the Playhouse series. Playhouse series. So, talk to us about um, how how that came to be, how that came to be, and then what exactly it is. Pete Housley and I uh, were working on a project. A while back and it didn't pan out however what it did do was a create a relationship that brought us back together for the Liberace 104th birthday okay. celebration speaking of which we're sitting on the newly renamed Liberace Drive Boulevard Avenue Gavin, Liberace right, Avenue. Right, Avenue. Liberace <laughs> Avenue right here exactly <laughs> exactly and uh, so uh, in interim with all and so all that was all came together at the same time too when we did the production and speaking of the Athena 
uh, show room itself, that's where we held it, if you will. Okay. And that was from everything from, and, and I was just, uh, it, you know, it was so elated because it was such a spectacular, you know, Jonathan brought the car, you know, big boy over, right? Big boy <laughs> is, 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 was Liberace's, cried and actually his role, the Rolls Royce. The Total. Cool. And just tell our audience who Jonathan is, just so in case. Jonathan I- Warren is the uh, CEO and head head everything that is the, the Liberace Foundation. And he's been moving and grooving this since Tony and I actually uh, were with him, dating back into the, uh, Peg- the Pegasus, the Alexis Park days, uh, going back to about 2011. Oh, wow. And so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's moved in so many different directions. And also the restaurant that he had that had been uh, reopened. And then also the beautiful display that is at the, um, uh, uh, that at, 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 that one, two, he has two, three displays that are now open and moving and grooving at uh, the Springs and, you know, other places like that. But the legacy still goes, and the museum that is, of course, located right down the street from Allegiant Park, uh, excuse me, Allegiant Stadium, is still open as well. So you can go in and see all the cars at Hollywood Cars. It's inside Hollywood Cars. That's the Liberace Foundation and Liberace Cars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so enough about Liberace. More mm-hmm. back to you. So, so you, mm-hmm. you get back into, um, you were there for the Liberace right. birthday celebration. Right, so I directed the celebration, which included the beautiful uh, Anne and Gina Eckstein and, you know, just so many, so many really cool people who uh, came and and we had so many celebrities who came out too for the uh, before pre party piece and all that. So it was really cool. And Pete said, "You know, why don't you come over to my house?" <laughs> 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 he said, why don't you come over to my house? Because you know what, we we need to sit down and, you know, let's let's talk about a few things. And so he, in turn, uh, opened up the door. And, you know, I have 20 years of operations experience with uh, all the retailers that you could possibly think of. Uh-huh. And so, therefore, I'm part of the operations as well over there, which is really cool. And uh, so in branching out, to do the Playhouse piece, which had been on Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. If you were, we took Wednesdays late, the 9 o'clock hour. And we have live bands in there. Yay. Live no no click tracks for you. No, no, no. <laughs> well, we made it for, for Christmas, we might have a couple from from couple <laughs> artists. But other than that, the, the 99% of it. But uh, having the uh, six- and seven-piece bands in there has been just just so beautiful because the Pegasus always had and and still does has that allure of the old club days yeah. whether it be of course Las Vegas or actually when you're in there thinking about any place you've ever been and it's now beside having the disco ball which has always been there um, the, the sound the new sound system the uh, uh, the lighting yeah. The Beverly, all the rest of that going on is fantastic. So uh, it has its own little pop to it, so to speak. So when people come in there, especially the artists who come in there and perform, and they say, oh, my God, they said, this is just a cool room. I said, absolutely. And it's so intimate. It's this so is what's intimate. so wonderful, too. It's like so intimate. Yeah. It's so intimate. And it's just so much fun. And uh, and of course and of course Tony is you know he's he's floating around he's up there eating his popcorn and said carry on booby he's coming carry on booby carry on and so I'm really excited about it so our Christmas show mm-hmm. is coming up on Wednesday December the 13th and our musical director for that because the musicianship of course in Las Vegas now is just so stellar mm-hmm. um, that it's uh, just uh, such a pleasure to work with 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 all the great musicians and musical directors and everything else so um taking the helm here like he did for the phyllis for the my phyllis hyman songbook uh is uh demetrius pappas oh he's awesome i really like him (laughs) i want to work with him because he's he's so he's so cool he's so cool (laughs) he's so cool (laughs) he's so cool he's so cool cool. and now i think it's now 16 years Uh as musical director and musical conductor for Smokey robinson's too you know so he he just you know he's just flies in and flies out flies in but uh he committed to the, the projects and to uh, to uh, bring all of that that coolness in and then we also have the cool John Bell's the guy who also uh, of course was with Natalie Cole for mm-hmm. many years and, and, and I'll speak a little taste about my girlfriend Gail Diedrich who was just here with Thelma Houston and the Whispers that whole thing uh-huh. that's a whole nother different thing <laughs> um, and uh, uh, and then also uh, uh, Boris Shapiro on drums and then uh, 
Tony Pereira on guitar, and Sid the Kid Smith, who is hanging out there on that sax. I said, hey, Sid. <laughs> has been a part of uh, Las Vegas for a long time as well. So having that unit yeah. is, is just a beautiful thing. Yeah. So, so, mm-hmm. so talk to me. So, so, so it's like, okay, come over to my house. Let's discuss. So talk to me about what the Playhouse series is exactly mm-hmm. and how you came to, like, this is what we want this series to do. Because I know it's very unique because it's, it's – Almost looked at as a development series. To a it's a extent, development right? series, and it opens it up to talents, whether it be producers or artists who are just trying to horn their craft, so to speak, mm-hmm. and to be able to go and do actually their own production. You know, some in the in the big rooms they can call it four walling or whatever, but the price point and cost and all that is certainly like forty grand and all that type of stuff. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> this allows you to come on in here. And, and and do your thing. Bring mm-hmm. your talent in here. Bring your uh, – and get all of the video and everything else that you need, those type of things, yeah. so that you can carry on. And then, plus, Pete always has an eye out for one of his rooms for uh, – For, like, for, something like to – to oh, do, have a residency, right. Yeah. So he has his eye out on all that, too. And, um, um, and it's uh, – it's it's been very interesting. We've had uh, the beautiful Rose Kingsley in uh-huh. there, of course, doing the Phantom and uh, the Opera and all that good stuff. That was really cool. And then of course we were talking about Habaka, and then of course talking about all these other folks. And so I have some beve of some other lovely people who uh, coming in and turning into the new year who are going to step up and That's bring exciting. their their piece in there. And uh, you know we'll see which way you know see how it goes. Yeah. And uh, you know and it's really cool because the room is set up so that you know you come in and you know get some great great video and yeah. whatnot and um, i'm excited too because in regards in the christmas sh- in the christmas show we're actually doing a complimentary live streaming for christmas Ooh. Ooh. christmas just came early <laughs> <laughs> so we're screaming about that because of course going forward that'll be another piece to um the pegasus and, and then everything else that has to do with that but the playhouse is just that just coming in and um um and and doing your craft yeah. doing your craft and it you know and music is one piece of it you know and of course we never forget about having the poetry and mm. all the rest of that that goes comics. through too. comics as well the whole you know the whole shebang yeah you know because it was so interesting because you know back in the club days the first thing that would happen a comic would hit this floor and do 20 and 30 minutes mm-hmm. and then your MC would come back out and then you come out and you dance you could dance for like 30 or 40 minutes and then you can get your drink on and <laughs> order you some hot wings and all that type of stuff right and then the first floor show would go on at about 9.30, the first floor show would hit, and then you know, they'd come out and do the whole big floor show and stuff. And then, you know, and then you'd have folks dropping in, like uh, doing shows in, in and out of town, like B.B. King and mm-hmm. Bobby Blue Bland and, you know, all you know all those fabulous people who used to, he used to be here doing Etta James, Nancy Wilson, all of them. Yeah. Because the, it was just the neighborhood in Los Angeles anyway that, that kind of worked like that. Um, but um, here now is the presence of newness, as I like to say. Mm -hmm. You know, just going back and pulling live, though. Because the way things are now, people want, their hearts need to be, you know, hug. You know, the big hug is the big hug. And when you talk about love, you talk about love. So we want you to feel, feel that. You want you to feel all of that love and feel all that beating and feel all that togetherness and all the rest and having a good time and feeling safe where you are as well. Yeah. So that's what we that's uh, really that, important. Yeah, very important. And Alexis Park certainly um, uh, with the new remodel that just happened yet again. And when you walk in, it's so the lines are so beautiful and clean and uh, quiet because it is the largest non gaming property in Las Vegas. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so there. people come in and, I stayed in Mandalay Bay and it sure is and I think I'll stay here next time. <laughs> Nothing well, against Mandalay yeah. Bay but you know. But you, you know, don't have like the loud, the, you don't have all the smoke all the place. You don't have, have the, the, right. You mm-hmm. don't have any of that. You know, there's the, they've got uh, the, you know, sweets and it's all sweets and mm-hmm. all sweets. I was looking at that. I was looking at like mm-hmm. the, the duplex suites, the two floor suites. And, yeah. 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 <laughs> and it's pet friendly. 
Oh, okay. So you can bring your doggy too. Yeah. <laughs> Doggies. <laughs> So it's so convenient. It's always been a gym, mm -hmm. you know, um, um, there. And uh, so now with, you know, people coming in and, re and talking with people and rediscovering so many different things, it's, 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 such, yeah. it's such a blast. It really is a blast. What, yeah. seem, what seems so amazing, what, what I think is so wonderful, and this is one of those things because, you know, um, I, didn't ever, I didn't come to Las Vegas until maybe five years mm -hmm. ago. So, you know, um, the Las Vegas that you talk about is the one that was always in my head, like as a kid. But this is a completely different. And I think it's amazing what you're doing. Like, that's one of the things that drew me to the Tuscany because mm -hmm. they Absolutely. liked, they're, they're one of the only that still honors kind of that old tradition mm -hmm. with like the lounge show where it's, you know, you know old with the new, right? Lounge right. show where right. they might right. have some, you right. know, like pop folks right. and rock folks, right. but they still aren't afraid to like do like, Five hours of like standards and right. five hours exactly. in the showroom and exactly. stuff. And I think that that's really amazing what mm -hmm. you're doing as mm -hmm. well because there's really not much of that. I don't think there's any of it on the strip. No, no, there's none of it on the strip because of the fact that, you know, music, there's so much music that, that you know, nobody does because nobody said, well, nobody would like it because mm -hmm. everybody has a concept of, of how things are. But when you go in and reach into people's hearts yeah. and they go, Man, that was sure was good. It's like, woo, sitting back and pushing away from the dinner table type of reaction. Yeah. Then you know, you got them. Totally. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, and just like anything else, you know, everything takes its own time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, moving things around and, and trying to uh, make the con different connections and whatnot. So that's the other fun thing, because when Tony and I first came here, he and I were the connections. We were going to all <laughs> the different places and doing the television shows and this and that and that and that to uh, help build. And so now it's like um, a rebirth, and quite naturally, the shows themselves are on the the, the uh, uh, residency shows, of uh -huh. course, around the billboards and all the rest of that moving along. And uh, so with uh, Playhouse, it's a really personal feel because you know since I've been here, connecting with all the different groups in the community and everything else, and letting them know, hey, we got something going on here. Come on down and check, check it, it out. out. <laughs> So is the series, like, is it like a standard, like, oh, it's a monthly series, or is it kind of as as you find people and you kind of place them where it makes sense on the calendar? Well, since we had just started in October and, you know, just we've been just kind of moving and rolling along with all of that good stuff starting uh, at the, after the first of the year, then it'll be a weekly okay. event. Okay. All right. A weekly event. So we're excited about that. And I say, more good stuff, more work to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then... Um, um, opening up with all different types of things. You know, we want to have um, um, the type of thing that, you know, folks can come in and they can dance, mm -hmm. you know, because that's the other thing, you know. Uh, you know the, when we came here after the uh, lounges and everything had closed, with the exception of, you know, so many, and, of course, the Italian-American club. We don't leave, want to leave yeah. the italian American oh, oh, yes, yes, oh, my Blue God. Blue as well, guys. yes, We don't yes. want to leave them out. And, of course, like you said, and I, I uh, perform at the dispensary and um, – Maxens mm -hmm. as well. And then, of course, the Gambit closed down, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So that's no longer in existence. But uh, the thing is, you know, we just keep creating. Yeah. And that's the fun thing about it. And that's why I'm so happy to be, as they say, in the, in the game, so to speak, and to be able to say, okay, well, let's try this. And mm -hmm. he says, okay, let's, let's try, try this. It. Let's just, just see what's happening. He said, we may, you know, we may... Uh, break a few eggs or crack a few eggs open or whatever case may be, he said, but well, we're going to keep striving so that we can bring a variety yeah. of music to the people. That, and I think that that... Entertainment to the that, people. And that's like a special thing as well, right? Because very... They, they, there really aren't... And this isn't just in music, just mm -hmm. even like in nightlife. Like, right. You know, think of a New York right. nightlife. Right. You know, it, there's not like a, let's try it. If it doesn't work out, we'll try something else. You know, my experience now just across the board in entertainment, it's, okay, well, please submit a request for proposal, <laughs> and then we're going to take it to our committee. Right. And then the committee... <laughs> 
And then we're going to send it out to a focus group. (laughs) And then we're going (laughs) to... You're going to do all of this. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. So I think that that's like really... Because, I mean, that's that's also like that's how you grow as an artist, right? You try. I mean... Absolutely. I'm sure. I know I'm not. I'm sure you're not the same singer that you were when you first started singing. And it was all all like... Trial and error. Okay, we're going to go out on stage and try this. Ooh, I laid an egg there. Mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm, well, I know mm-hmm, to do this. Di- mm-hmm, like, and that's how mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. you keep on evolving. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know, and development and, you know, and, uh, and growth and everything else. And, you know, you, and your style and everything else changes. Um, a perfect example is of Patty Austin, Phyllis Hyman. Mm-hmm. You know, when they first started, if you listen to their albums, when they first started, you say, who dat? Mm-hmm. Who dat, who dat, who dat? And then, of course, moving right along, you know, and they be, you know, and the the great songsters that they are, um, uh, were for Phyllis, and of course, currently, of course, always for Patty Austin. Yeah. Who's one of my, you know, Ida type of things, you know, because she does it. Oh. Yeah. So, um, but it's been uh, and continues to be a pleasure, right? You know, it keeps me really busy, and paying attention, all the rest of that. Like I'm still saying. Christmas is here. <laughs> Where is that show? So I get that show for me. <laughs> but again, it's fantastic because I have the the beautiful and nay. And by the way, I'd like to make sure I say that she will be at Notoriety okay. on uh, December the tenth. If we are doing her Christmas show, so that'll be, that'll that'll be great. And uh, then I have uh, and then I pulled my buddy uh, uh, Gina Eckstein to come out. Come on, Gina, because, you know, Gina was the tops in her, in her beside, of course, her dad, of course, being B- the great Billy uh-huh. Eckstein. Uh, Gina was her own entity back in the 90s as well mm-hmm. here in Las Vegas. You know, she played all the rooms and everything else like that. So uh, having Gina there is a fantastic thing, and we're also, and we're, we're getting to that uh, a little bit later, too, in regards to having the uh, family music group or choir and some other things with the kids that we're going to be doing as well oh my there goodness on December the 16th we'll be at the uh, at Alexis Park uh, in the Athena so we're working on that too. we're starting to work on that too for the beautiful choirs and the uh, the strings and this and that and the whole shebang and pulling that together too as an afternoon event oh that's wonderful mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. so exciting <laughs> my gosh a guy li- leaves town for <laughs> four years and all hell breaks loose <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's it's amazing, too, because, you know, when you call people, you know, Roy Hamilton Jr., uh-huh. you call him, and then, of course, you know, my partner's Valida, and, of course, Dana Day, you know, as, as, as well, calling him up and saying, come on, let's, you know, go, let's go do something. It's you like, don't want to go do something. Mickey and Judy, let's go to the barn and you. put on a show. Katie uh, Katie Monroe is also going to be on the show. I have her in a long time. And, yes, and this <laughs> is very special because Katie, you know, she's she's all over doing 50 billion things, and, of course, she's, she's, she's the, the cruise line. Duchess as uh-huh. well, uh, but uh, she doesn't do shows, a lot of shows here. So yeah. this is really special that she's going to come in and uh, do something special for us as well. So that'll be a beautiful eye opener. And there's a whole bunch of different surprises and things that'll be going on. And, you know, we're so excited about having uh, all, of, all of that happening. That's mm-hmm. that's so mm-hmm. thrilling. And Valida, by the way, I need to talk about Valida. Valida, who who also was a part, along with Dana, with the uh, Las Vegas Mass Choir, and so many productions and and things that go on in Las Vegas, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that that she's a part of is also uh, uh, starring in the other better half of Frankly Frank. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, Frankly Frank. Uh, with uh, right now, of course, Ryan Baker. Mm-hmm. And then also Michael Sinatra too. Okay. So uh, there, you know, the rotations move in and move out. But she's been doing it for the last couple months. So for all of you who want to see a really cool show and see Valida in a serious element, please note that uh, that on seven o'clock, frankly, Frank. That's so exciting. And, and everybody can go to modernvegas.com also to see the whole lineup that is all the shows. Yeah. And then, of course, the Playhouse how, that goes on with the Playhouse. How too. long are the shows? Because that's one of the things I noticed because I'm like, 4 o'clock, Frank, 5 o'clock, Elvis. Four, I, was, I was like, whoa. 70, 75 minutes. Okay. 75 minutes. So starting port is normally the 5 o'clock spot. Normally that's 5 o'clock spot. And we also have... Uh, Rob Garrett and Neil Diamond. Is it seventy-five minutes? Seventy-five minutes. Wow, yeah, seventy-five. That's minutes. like that's actually like 
kind of cool. Yeah. Because, like, you know, yeah. I mean, usually it's, like, 45 to 60, get off the stage. Like, I know, like, when I used to, when I came up in the New York cabaret right. scene, it was, right. like, <laughs> if you went a minute over 60 minutes, like, you owe the house, like, $115 for, like, a minute. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, so you just shoot. like speed through your set. Thank you. Good night. You know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And it, it, it's exactly. And uh, but uh, the shows are are really are really great because they're integrated with live. A lot of them are integrated with live uh, uh, instrumentation as well. Yeah. So that makes it real cool. And the Duchesses, come see the Duchess. Okay. Come see Motown. Okay. At its finest. I think I'll have to. Oh, listen, Tanja. When is that? When does what date is? What day is it? Seven days a week. Seven days eight a week? o'clock. Eight o'clock. And and Elvis all shook up. That's another one not to miss either. Too six o'clock. Seven days a week. Jesus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I guess I need to move into the Alexis part. <laughs> <laughs> you need, well, when you're here long enough, you know, you come down and come, come on down, come on down, because it's a, they're definitely great shows, and it's like a whole family union down there. It is, and then of course, you know, we also want to say a, always a big grat- congratulations to uh, Ned Mills and Sally Olson as they and the Carpenters. Their whole Carpenters show is just absolutely fantastic. They were a part of the rebuild during the pandemic. Okay. So they were a part of all of that. And so now they have flourished and they are planning Hollywood now in their residency there. Yay! Mm-hmm. And touring. That's so wonderful. That is so wonderful. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's so amazing. So speaking of yes. amazing people that have yes. played the room, I wasn't there to see it, but I watched the video of your wonderful Phyllis Hyman show. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Are you going to bring it back, or do you have some ideas for some like new, different, like a differently themed or different, a different show in 2024? In 2024, I can't believe we're almost at 2024. I know, I know, right? I was, I almost was at 2024. <laughs> what is that? I'm, I'm, yeah, definitely going to bring Phyllis back, and definitely want to take Phyllis. I've had a, you know, few little interests, and you know, and you and I have talked about a little bit about uh-huh. that, but now it's in its total. It's total packaging type of piece now. Yeah. The only thing, you know, Phyllis recorded over 100 songs. And so, you know, you have people calling out, you know, oh, so-and-so, or what about so-and-so, so-and-so. So, her, the, so it be, it'll be an ongoing series yeah. as well to move and groove her beautiful songs in and out, too, as well. Totally. And, uh, and uh, you know, take it on the road. And then for the audience, too. It's like, well, I want to come back again, because yes. what are you going to sing this time? Yes. And, oh, my yes. God. Yeah. Yes, 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 absolutely. And, and, um, um, and of course, uh, going and starting back, uh, 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 you know, Tony and Mark and all of them, you know, starting the, the project with that and, uh, and uh, 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 having that support because of the fact that Phyllis's music mm-hmm. is amazing, but it, all the musicians who have put the pen to the paper will tell you too. And the arrangements at that time were so amazing that you know even everybody's got to stop and say, "Oop, let's put this all together." Right. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is not one, two, three, four. This is just not a simple swing. And uh, because that's what, of course, beside her beauty of her voice, made her so made yeah. her music, as we know, so exquisite. But, but that's what it is, right? I I, I mm-hmm. personally think, and we talk about evolving mm-hmm. like as a musician mm-hmm. you know I, I i remember when i first began it was just like basic charts and fun two three right. and, right. And, and, but then you start to realize as you start listening to others you start you know it's it's not just about me the singer me, yes me, 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 me. yes it's like wait a second we have this amazing group of musicians and we can collaborate in such a way and and together come together and just create this marvelous piece that like if one if the saxophone is out it totally changes everything Mm -hmm. if the bass drops Mm -hmm. out it totally changes everything but together it's just this Mm -hmm. symphony of emotion fabulous emotion yeah exactly and and uh, tony used to always say that the rhythm section should always sound like an orchestra. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like to that. To start, right? Yeah. And then everything else, you know, you feel everything else around it. And um, I was just so, I was just so elated because of uh, having uh, all the gentlemen with us and we have the, the, everybody back again as well. But just that whole concept of listening. Yeah. Listening, you know, not just saying, oh, okay, I know. No. 
You got to listen to the feel. Mm -hmm. You got to listen to where that one sits. Where Mm -hmm. is that? Where is that one? You know, where that's that? And the groove and everything else. It just, it, it just makes just such a difference, you know, Mm -hmm. just such a difference all the way around. Yeah. Well, again, because again, even if you are the star or the headliner Mm -hmm. at the end of the day, Mm -hmm. It is a collaboration, mm-hmm. and yes, you guys it are, it's, it, it's a cooperative. That's right. Because if they That's all right. drop out, you're just going to be sitting there on the corner <laughs> singing to yourself. <laughs> you, you know, and, 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 then, and then, you know, and, and then because fun, because music is supposed to be fun. Beside yeah. all the other stuff that goes around it, music itself is supposed to be fun. And there's nothing better than, like, when it clicks and everybody at the same <laughs> time feels you like, well, yes, <laughs> You know, just get just getting lost in you know lost in the groove, and um, I I you know I, I you know I've been you know like a little chisa cat and you know a little toothpick with the Phyllis thing for a long long time, yeah. and uh, of course doing it at Summerlin was one piece of it, but ne- and, and which was great, mm-hmm. and um, but now it has the intimacy. It's almost like. Um, if if Mikhail's or bottom line, uh-huh. right? Where uh-huh. she and of course Angela Bofield now uh-huh. used to be infrequent all the time, yeah. right? And so it's a, a great setting now because I could take it anywhere, mm-hmm. you know. And so that's what we're. So you're truly the first artist that the Playhouse developed. <laughs> <laughs> You're working it out. You're working it out. I'm working it out. Do you think yeah. ultimately you might? Um, Record it so that it's there. like once once you feel like okay this is it's this is it. Do you think do you, do you, do you imagine ever like recording it so that people around the world can can enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> in perpetuity and perpetuity absolutely. Well, in the next round, you know, we're going to be able to do that. We're going to be able to uh, do that with the streaming and all the rest yeah. of that too. So that's going to be exciting, and. Uh, um, you know, Pete always, you know, teased me because, you know, he's like, yeah, because sure get up there and you sure go all night. And it's cool, but sure go all <laughs> night. <laughs> and, I, and I said, I, I said, well, Pete, you have to remember, you know, clubs ran from, you know, clubs opened at 830 and they ran from 9 o'clock till 2 in the morning, uh-huh. right? And then yeah. they said, last call for alcohol, kick everybody out. Uh-huh. And then say, okay, and so we're going over here to after hours. <laughs> get some breakfast and then you got to stop and then there was another after hours after six o'clock in the morning and if it was church time well then some people had to go to church and on and on and on right but um but uh it uh it uh it's uh we we got it down to 60 minutes okay actually when we did it this last time, yeah. which he was like, I'm so amazed you did that. Was that painful for you? Like, was it like choosing between, like Sophie's Choice, choosing between your babies? Like, but, oh, I love that song. Oh, I love that phrase. We can't. Well, we, you know what? Because there's so many stories to tell mm-hmm. around, you know, her music, the, you know, the time and everything else like this. There's so much to tell about it. And uh, so I just, I just, I just, it just comes. Yeah. It just comes as I go. Yeah. You know, so I just kind of create it as it goes because there's just so many stories. And, of course, Tony is, you know, him being in the business for 54 years and, mm-hmm. and all the things that he did and all his stories that go into the stories, you know, it, it makes it um, that much more fun. And then when you, you know, start talking about people like Chuck Rainey and James Gatson and all these other, oh, my God, you could just roll. Let's roll, shall we? <laughs> so, so, but, but the, uh, the Phyllis piece, I'm really happy, really happy with that. So now it's just a matter I'm probably going to flip a couple of songs out yeah. and then uh, some other things back in because I do some other things that, uh, uh, um, you know, you go back and you say, oh, okay, let me, let me, let me do this for that instead of that. Let's yeah. do that. And so that's where we're at. But um, I'm looking forward to uh, bringing it back out here again and also, you know, moving around. Moving around. around. Moving yeah. around. Do you have, mm-hmm. like, outside of Vegas, do you have, like, a venue in your head that's like, oh, I've always wanted to play this venue? That's still around. I know it's hard, especially because, like, a lot of like most of the nightclubs are gone. But, uh, but it, that's <laughs> the point. That is you the know, point. But there are still places. But like, I'd like to bring it to Catalina. 
Okay. I'd like to bring it to Catalina because it, Catalina is, is exemplifies everything that is, you know, Phyllis and, and, and all of that. Yeah. So, um, and then that, that whole period of the music and everything else. And when KJLA. And you're talking Catalina Jazz, Jazz Club in, Jazz Club. Ho- in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah because mm-hmm. it, 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 it uh, is, is still, it's still um, uh, a beautiful place for so many people to do so many things. Mm-hmm. And Tony and I did some things in there years and years ago when it after it moved off of Coanga to where it is now. Mm-hmm. But um, that would be one of the places. And there's some places in Palm Springs yeah. also that I'd like to uh, uh, take it to. And, uh, you know, when the time presents itself, it would be great to bring it to, like, New York or Philadelphia or places like that, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yay. Mm-hmm. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you know, so we just, uh, you know, we pull the pieces together and and uh, make some connections mm-hmm. and then see what we can do. Indeed. And so, but I'm really excited because then uh, uh, going to the next year with, with my own little projects, then I have a, uh, a project, too, that um, I want to bring to light along with Chris Claremont, which is uh, the... Uh, Friday, uh, Philly, Philly Friday, we call it. Okay. And that's Philadelphia International. Okay. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Philadelphia International. So that that's all I'll say about that <laughs> right now. But uh, there's a, a really cool thing that uh, we want to present for that, too. Yay. Mm-hmm. So just stuff. Just stuff. Just stuff. Just stuff, you know. You know, just A few stuff. odds and ends. Yeah. A couple errands. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the Playhouse series, yes. so are you like the like gatekeeper king, queen, and master of it, or is there like a committee, or do you work with Pete? Is, is you Pete just Pete, like Pete always says? I just write the checks. See, Pete, <laughs> why can't I find a man like that? Me, I just write the checks. But he uh, 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 allows me just to go and do it, and you know we've all been doing this, you know, quite some time, and so. During this period of time, because we have to come in right after, for example, right after Rob Garrett, and then we have 30 minutes. To, to, 30 minutes. Oh, wow. 30 minutes before we open. Oh, for, wow. For, uh, uh, to, you know, to, to, for seating and everything else. Just yours at 30 minutes, like them, t- the, the previous show shutting down, t- t- tearing down, and then you guys coming in. Wow. And I want to I wanna give a, a, a great shout out to... Uh, to uh, to Daniel, who is the head uh, tech engineer, sound engineer over at Alexis Park and his crew, because he's really just bumped into taking that room, that Pegasus room, which everybody's actually playing more live to than plugged in as uh-huh. well, because the sound of the room itself just, you know, it just it absorbs and carries everything else. And uh, uh, so we really, we really almost have it pretty much down now. How yeah. to get in there and do with that? Um, probably for the Christmas. Probably for the Christmas, everybody will go straight up. Yeah. Everybody's just gonna go straight just up like, because we don't have time, time to do it. We're like, not gonna <laughs> have time to. Well, I would have said no. Yeah, we don't like, have time. No. Just just get, get up and do it. Saying, get off. We're we're we're, we're handle you. We're we're make sure that you sound fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do all the rest of that. We have snow too. Snow. We have some snow. Wow. Thank you, Daniel. Snow. snow. That's like, <laughs> That's like the Met Opera House, you know. Like you see the opera, like you see opera all over the place. But seeing the opera at the Met is like no other. If it's supposed to snow, there's going to be snow. If there's right, supposed to right, be a horse-drawn right, sleigh, right, right. there's going to be horses on that set, on that stage. So, <laughs> and again, it adds to it, right? I think it adds that, to it because I always think things. about this, right? As someone who loves live performance and only ever wanted to do live performance. And, you know, seen it wane mm-hmm. even since I started, you know, right. like seen it wane right. and wane and right. show, you know, right. showrooms close and cabaret rooms close and piano bars close. And I, those things, those little extras are the things that make it an experience, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. especially because you're competing with everything, right? You're competing, you know, not only with oh. like large, large, you know, like, you know, like superstar shows. That's right. You're competing with theater. That's right. You're competing with television. You're competing with the movies. You're competing with the iPhone. So everything that you can do to make it like a very singular experience, I think. 
and bringing the music out that people don't hear. Mm-hmm. Bringing that, or bringing something that they don't know about mm-hmm. makes it such such a big difference. You know, when people say, "Who, Phil? Who, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that?" And I said, "You know, she had the line here at one time in Vegas too." Mm-hmm. <laughs> like Roy Hamilton had the line here in Vegas. You know, but. But then again, we know there was Sammy Davis was here, and people were like, oh, him and, so and everybody. We, and that's and, why you and, immediately, oh, it, Vegas. It, it, Frank, <coughs> Sammy, yeah, Dean. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yet, but and even but so. Every, but I'm saying, but everybody's, like, there's so many people who have a connection here and, and, and did a lot of shows here, made a lot of money here. That's right. That we don't, you're right, we right. just kind of roll out the, that's right. not that we're, you know, poo pooing on Frank. Go see the Frank show. No, but, gotta see the Frank show. <laughs> gotta see the Frank but, show. But no, it, it could be, and then yeah. it becomes because then it becomes. And I think that this is one of the things because I've, I've I've had conversations about this, right? Because the Great American Songbook, that's like what I love, right. right? And it's like, well, so why fall out of fashion? And I think it's just that because it's just the same thing over and over again. It's sort of to the uninitiated Mm -hmm. is like a parody Mm -hmm. of itself. Mm -hmm. So it's like, Mm -hmm. okay, Mm -hmm. you're going to lounge at the piano and Mm -hmm. snap your fingers Mm -hmm. and maybe hold Mm -hmm. a glass of cocktail Mm -hmm. in your hand Mm -hmm. when it's like, oh my God, there's so much amazing music and there's so many great stories. Yeah. So many great stories, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, I, You know, when uh, Tony was here with Della Reese, Mm -hmm. you know, when we're rolling back with the fifth dimension. Yeah. Gail Diedrich. Uh-huh. Gail Diedrich was one of the first women of color to conduct orchestras here. Yeah. You know, we're going back, you know, in the 70s, early 70s, yeah. and all that other good stuff. But, you know, and of course, Patrice Russian, da 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 da. That makes me think. What did you think of the Black Vegas special on ABC? Did you see that? I didn't see the Black Vegas you special. You didn't see no, it? It came out. No, 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 no. I should have no, called no, you. No, it no. came out. It came out. Um, Okay. Um, it came out last year, and it was like an hour-long special, and it was, um, it just talked about the history of black performers. Oh, yes. Performers. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do yes, you think of it? Yes. 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 You know, it's just so hard to condense everybody. Right. <laughs> That's that's you know it's like that's everybody what, gets a paragraph. Everybody gets a paragraph. You know, Sonny Charles, right? Checkmates and all that other good stuff. I mean, when you put him and Earl Turner, all you and of course Clinton, all Clinton and all of them together, and tell the stories, and then but the, of course those stories, right? Yeah. And then but you got the, then, then when you start step back, stepping back into the early '70s and mm-hmm. all the rest of that, and even when I was uh, fortunate to be uh, touring with Marilyn and Billy, and we and you know we did the sands. You know, I'm standing on the stage in the sands, right? Uh I'm like, oh, this is cool. Okay, (laughs) right? And then you look at the same thing and say, well, look at us. We were able to go in the commissary during the time that Sammy couldn't. Wow. You know, and in fact, uh, Shirley Matteson, hey, Shirley, Shirley Matteson and I, when we arrived and we had rehearsal and we went to the commissary and got something to eat and came down, sat by the trash can and ate our lunch. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. To have that and cry. And had that moment and said, thank, praise God that we are here because of all of them yeah. to be able to, uh, uh, you, you know, to just to be able to, I mean, you know, we're the background, you know what I'm saying? We're the background and all the rest of that. But, and to be on such an iconic stage mm-hmm. that, you know, we can talk about, like I could talk about to this day. Yeah. To say, oh, yeah. Yeah, I was on that stage. I was. <laughs> sure was. Merle, you know, they, they did it for me. And, um, and what not, and of course, and of course, Tony, you know, fit to be in times flying around here with it, with everybody and, and all the stories. Yeah. And musicians have the best stories in the whole wide world. <laughs> <laughs> they have the best stories in the whole world. Um, but, um, Yes, because you know, and then and then when you you know when you talk about in the West Side and everything that's going uh-huh. on with the West Side now, uh-huh. that should have been, and I say to this day, should have been a a, a, a retro Bourbon Street, right, right, uh-huh. and things like that. So we still haven't, and and you see in different things that are happening mm-hmm. with that, you know. Well, you know, you can have this, but you can't have that still. Yeah. So that that piece is still going on. So, you know, I pray that entities will actually go in and work with churches and all the rest of them mm-hmm. to actually make 
that neighborhood the neighborhood it deserves to be right totally you yeah know. you go back into that whole history architecture and, and everything else and, and and you know it deserves every bit of it because we're we're blowing up everywhere else right so- <laughs> <laughs> my god right everything else is woo, 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 all over the place so so it is uh, my, one of my prayers that that will that will happen that will happen mm-hmm. yeah Mm-hmm. Wow! So deserving, it's so deserving of having that, and everything that there is. Because if you go back to the and actually read the history of that of uh, of uh, the, the the West Side, and, and just how side. everything went down, and how things were um, what's were sabotaged, and how I think it's so interesting because I remember, and I, I think I thought I really thought it was a really great piece, and I'd love to see. Mm-hmm. A longer piece of it, you know, like I'd love right. to see like one of right. those like Ken Burns right. style, right. like right. eight, right. eight hours, you know yeah. what I mean, like where you really get to, because I think a lot of people like I, until I was like older, I didn't realize all of that, you know, because when you think about mm-hmm. that era, mm-hmm. when you think about segregation, and when you think about, you know, if, if you're of or under a certain age, all you think of is the South. Right. And everything right. else is wonderful up North and out West. Hey, everyone was right. and, on the ocean right. and, and chilling in the desert. Right. And, you know, but then you really start looking at the history of here, Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> you know I tell those stories. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. you know, um, and it's and it's kind of glossed over mm-hmm. a lot, mm-hmm. a lot, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Or it's like, well, it, it wasn't as bad as it was in Alabama. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. It, it's just, but, but the thing was, and the thing was just like in Central Avenue in Los Angeles, it's just, that it's just that the pride of all those people who were the police officers mm-hmm. and the firemen and the teachers and the doctors, the upcoming doctors and, and lawyers and the business entrepreneurs and everything else was just so amazing, which, of course, made the Crenshaw District turn into what it had become in the 70s period as well, thriving, Beauty right. Park, Blair Hills, mm-hmm. you know, Baldwin Hills yeah. and all the rest of that other good stuff. And uh, uh, it's their own, you know, stories with all of that. But um, people just, let's, let's just get together. Let's just get together and just listen to one another. That's all I say. Listen to one another. What is it you said last week on the show? Share a hot link. <laughs> <laughs> I done take mine. Got a hot wing roll, hot wing rolling around, you know what I'm saying? A little piece of cake or something, you know? We can work it out now. It doesn't have to be all that complicated. It's not that complicated. It's not that complicated when we open up our, our minds and our ears and our hearts. And uh, and that's the other thing, you know, you, you, uh, as my mother used to say who taught in Los Angeles, you had City Unified for 38 years, that, you know, you can just wee. Just wean in between all the nooks and crannies and stuff and put a little bug and everybody's there to carry on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I want to continue like, you know, talking you know, to you like right. all day. But I just got the sign. <laughs> we only have a couple of minutes left. <laughs> so I want to make sure that we, because they can just talk about this all day. Yeah. I want to make sure that everybody knows exactly where they can come see you. Come explore um, the Playhouse series. Come explore all of the other wonderful entertainment offerings at Alexis Park's Resort, where yes. Alexis Park Resorts. Yes. And um, um, yeah, so where can where can we find out more information about everything? About everything. Well, for me, myself, and I, mm-hmm. of course, we have the Facebook. I always keep that up, moving and grooving and up to date, and uh, along with the Instagram piece of it. Uh, and, you know, we just keep it rolling out there all the time. And, of course, Modern Showrooms will be ModernVegas.com. Just go to ModernVegas.com and you'll see everything with all the different shows, the fabulous shows, and Playhouse. And there's an article about me, too, that's that's floating around in there as well. Yay. So um, most definitely with all of that. Awesome. So, just, so it's easy. It's easy, easy money. If you have any questions or any any information you want to share, go send me an email at l g thrill t h r i l l forty three at aol dot com. See, you shouldn't have done that. Now, every <laughs> entertainer, everyone who ever thought of coming to Las Vegas and getting into show business is going to email you. You're going to get. <laughs> I get it already, but I get it already. So I just let folks know. I can tell you exactly what it is. One two three or one two three. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. It's it's always such a pleasure hanging oh, out with you. Oh, this is just Weeby. so good. It can't be this long next time. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, it's probably, yes. It was my fault. <laughs> well, you're busy. You're busy. <laughs> Everybody's so busy. You know? uh, it says the woman who has 18,000 shows opening. <laughs> like, you really, so in other words, you're, you're, about to, you're about to literally produce 52 <laughs> shows next year on top of the other things that you're developing. On to- like, I'm busy. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you Lisa for having Gay. me, Absolutely. Jordan. Any, you are welcome here anytime. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you all for listening. Uh, we'll chat again next week. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, on another episode of Showtime with Jordan Van Haslow and friends right here on Hot 702.5.